This is 150 Lipstick Ascending on Caterpillar Tracks by Klaus Oldenburg from 1969 to 1974, made of quartz steel, steel aluminum, and cast resin painted with polyurethane enamel. The large context for this is that in the 1960s, since 1963, the U.S. had been involved in the Vietnam War and students on college campuses were protesting this war, protesting the draft, although the draft really affected students that weren't in college. Students could avoid the draft by going to college, and it disproportionately drew on uh, people of poverty, young men of poverty, and uh, people of color, men of color particularly. So um, it is... It enraged students on college campuses who felt like to avoid the draft, they had to go to college and um, they pro protested the war. This is, I don't know where this particular, this might be at Yale also, but in on the Yale campus, um, which is where this is, there was this first rendition of the um, lipstick ascending on caterpillar tracks as a platform for speeches that could be given here. So that's its function, which I'll get to in a second. But this was created first out of plywood and used, had a red um, vinyl balloon. And um, this vinyl balloon kind of fell apart with use and with vandalism. And then the second version that was created by 1974, this had steel and was more, became a permanent statue on campus. But the point to be to know here is that this was initially meant to be temporary. So it's going to be like some other works of art, like um, uh, Yoyo Kusama's Narcissus Garden, which is temporary. In terms of content, there's a lot that you can unpack here. This was a postcard made by Oldenburg where he began using lipstick. So lipstick has a phallic look. It also resembles a bullet, so it has a military look. It could resemble missiles, but it also shows consumerism. We spend a lot on beauty products in this country. And then in terms of um, popular art or pop art, like our Andy Warhol piece, this is Klaus Oldenburg using artifacts or excuse me um objects that we see in daily life and he's making a statement with them so in terms of this postcard this this statue was never really done he's just created it um on a postcard kind of mocked it up but this is piccadilly circus which is a big um kind of a public gathering spot in london and so he put those lipstick over this statue, which has the statue of Eros on, on the top. So he has just been working with lipstick over time. So in terms of content, the focus is on, on beauty and just this consumer commercialization and of beauty and the pressure created by that focus. I mean, we can all talk about that, just the, the pressure to look beautiful and def definition of beautiful and the amount that men and women spend on beauty products is uh, amazing. And then contrast that with the violence that these Caterpillar tracks re reference that was going on in the war in Vietnam. So we think of these gender stereotypes, you know, women with lipstick, men uh, playing war, making war and you know, what can we talk about with these gender roles? So in terms of content, let me show you some other examples. Klaus Oldenburg likes to put items in unexpected places. And here he is walking down a sidewalk. This is, happens to be in London, holding a giant tube of toothpaste. And then another um placement for that toothpaste tube look in the back here this is in the um this is in philadelphia this um, display and you can see our maryland diptych in the background so this is in the room of pop art and this is his electrical plug in philadelphia i love that kid acting like she is being electrocuted 
then uh, this is his big sweep in Denver, Colorado. So it's massive. I mean, this is me. Uh, so you can see that this is just uh, 30, 40 feet high. This is his giant safety pin in San Francisco. And this is something that you probably don't know much about. It's a typewriter eraser in Washington, D.C. This thing in the back here, it's huge. I just wonder, um, probably most of you don't even, my son didn't know what it was. Uh, then this is Spoonbridge and Cherry in Minneapolis, Minnesota. So in crazy things in different places. This is a shuttlecock. It's in Kansas. Um, this is a bat column in Chicago, downtown Chicago, and clothespin in Philadelphia. So the function here of lipstick ascending on Caterpillar is um, it was placed on the Yale campus during anti-Vietnam War uh, protests. So it is meant as a platform. People could stand up here and uh, talk, uh, rail against the war. And it was commissioned by architecture students for that purpose. And so here is Klaus Oldenburg, a graduate of Yale. And I hope you're looking back here going, oh, yeah, these are Corinthian columns. Here is a frieze. This is um, very much a Greek um, temple form in the background. All right, that's Lipstick Ascending on Caterpillar by Klaus Oldenburg. 1969 was the original. 1974 was the permanent version by uh, made out of core tin steel, steel aluminum, and cast resin. So it's painted with polyurethane enamel.